Hello everyone, this is Aida Qolami from Acumet Soft Research Company and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to make a check mark in Excel, how to insert a check mark in your Excel uh, cells. So by check mark I mean these ones. So a check mark and a cross mark. But if you want another thing, maybe you should check um, the checkbox video, which I have um, I have it in the channel and maybe I I put the link down below. So for making these check marks and cross marks, what you have to do is to so there's two ways I will explain them. First is to select a cell, then uh, write uh, a capital P for check 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 mark. I'm sorry for check mark. So put a capital P. So take Shift and press P, and then select the letter you have typed, and then go to Font in Home tab. In here. Go select wing things, wing things too. Okay, so you just select it, and you can see your check mark is created here. So for color, of course, you can go for green or blue or whatever you want. So I go for blue so that it becomes a standard, you know, green check mark, and I go for bold also. Then for the cross mark, uh, all I have to do is to go for taking shift and press O and then take the letter, go to font and here again go for windings 2 and then you can see this cross mark is appeared. Then I can uh, change the colors and make them bigger and bold. So the other way is to do exactly uh, these um, things by going to symbols. So I go for insert tab and in symbols segment I go for symbol and in here again in the font in the drop down list you should again find wing things. So I go for windings too, and then you can see these um, actually um, these are available for me. So I can insert this one, and then also insert this one, and then maybe I can copy or cut one of them. And I'm sorry, yeah. It didn't work actually, so I have to again go to symbols and insert it. So it comes to recently used symbols. And I guess that's it so easy. And again, you can change the colors. But if you want to have a checkbox, uh, you need to go to developer tab and in insert in controls segment, go to insert, and here is your checkbox. Okay. So then I can create my checkbox. If you want this one so that you can check and uncheck, you need to go to my other video which I mentioned and uh, you will see how to do it and some tips about it. So I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so that you can understand wherever we have newer videos. Uh, I see you in the next videos and bye.